Welcome to Keith and I Don't Tread on Anyone in the Libertarian Institute. Here is a section from my new book, Domestic Imperialism, Nine Reasons I Left Progressivism. Consider these two organizations. Which one sounds more compassionate? Organization X offers people food in exchange for money. When people refuse to exchange money for Organization X's food, Organization X uses their own money to market their products and reinvest in facilities, which entice customers to shop there. If customers refuse to buy food from Organization X, Organization X will go out of business. Organization Q produces food. Organization Q claims that since food is necessary for life and a healthy populace, people should be forced to chip in for Organization Q's costs. Those who do not pay will be put in jail by employees of Organization Q. And if you resist Organization Q's employees, the employees have a right to shoot you in defense of their own lives. Which organization sounds more compassionate? Which organization would you prefer to interact with? Governments provide many things, such as security, schools, intelligence gathering, poverty assistance programs, but none of these are defining characteristics of government. They can be provided by many non-government actors in society, and historically, they have been. What makes government a unique institution in society is its widely recognized right to achieve its ends via threats of violence against non-aggressors. This is why you would go to jail for trying to tax someone's income, or if you attempted to regulate the commercial interactions of strangers, or declared war on one of your foes. Hence, governmental organizations are more like Organization Q, and organizations in the free market are more like Organization X. I became a progressive when I thought that progressivism meant being compassionate. I stopped being a progressive when I realized that putting massive obligations on strangers through government coercion was not compassion. While progressives assume that they have a monopoly on compassion, the reality is that compassion can still arise even in the absence of state coercion. This book will focus on progressive ideas which dominate universities, K-12 teaching, the corporate press, governments, corporate advertising campaigns, human resource departments, and Hollywood. Most of the people in these areas advocate progressive ideas such as state welfare, state schooling, antitrust legislation, state involvement in health care, state involvement in retirement planning, state regulation of commerce, and the belief that the existence of disparities in outcomes is ample evidence of discrimination. Three things to know before moving forward. The primary assumption behind progressivism is that government is the central caretaker in society when it comes to solving social and individual problems. In America, both Republican President Theodore Roosevelt and Democratic President Woodrow Wilson were considered progressives, showing that the fundamental assumptions within this worldview exists across party lines. This is why whenever small government Republicans have been in power, they have never, on net, shrunk the size or scope of the federal government. The progressive mentality tends to assume that inequality and poverty are unnatural and the result of bad actors, while equality and wealth are easily achievable with the right amount of political power. In a world where progressive assumptions rule general public opinion, I wanted to write this short book explaining why the progressive worldview should be rejected and the free market worldview should be embraced instead. Thank you for watching, Keith Knight. Don't tread on anyone in the Libertarian Institute. Links to the book will be in the description below. Hey, you all, it's fundraising time again at the Libertarian Institute. We try not to do this to you too often, but business is business after all. I got a great group of guys and a gal at the Institute, and I got to pay them. So just go to libertarianinstitute.org slash donate to pick your price and help out. We've got some great kickbacks too, books and shirts. Great ones. That's libertarianinstitute.org slash donate. And thank you all very much.